Hey you guys, it's your girl Sir Chanel here, and if you're new here, what it do, boo? Um, I haven't uploaded in two months. Your girl has been busy. I've been doing shit, and YouTube has not been my main priority. However, I am back. I am here to give you quality content. I have answered, commented back to everyone that has commented on my videos. I have been trying to engage as much as possible, although I have not been posting. So if you have been holding it down and have been with the gang, with the SYD money gang, while I have been on a hiatus, I fuck with you, girl, and I appreciate you. And you already know the deal. Once I hit a thousand subscribers, we are doing a giveaway. So, I mean, we only have 950 to go. I've been saying that for months. Where are the subscribers at? Share my videos. Click that subscribe button right now if you fuck with me, if you think you fuck with me, if you like my hair, or if you like this smile, then hit subscribe. So I'm trying out a new little way of filming. First of all, you probably noticed that if you're seeing this video compared to all my other videos, then the quality is a little better. I don't know if the audio is better yet. I'll see once I start editing, but my camera is placed right now on a pot some iced tea and something that I put my forks in. So, <laughs> I'm trying. I've had a camera for years. When I first started YouTube, I had a camera. I just always used my phone. It's convenient, it's comfortable, it's something I like to do personally. Um, but I'm trying to, you know, give y'all that quality content. Me, the queen of finesse, the finesse of herself, the scamming of the scamming. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not a scam artist, but I did recently get scammed, and um, yeah, it sucks. It definitely does suck, and it does happen to everyday people. It happens to hardworking people. It happens to people not a lot of money. People a lot of money. The internet is a wild, crazy place, and first off, let me just start by saying that you need to be careful on the internet. Don't go sending your money to people that you don't know, you know? Um, which sounds crazy because that's literally what everyone does. Like, you don't know a lot of people on the internet. I'm sure you have bought their merch. Um, you try to support them. You fall in love with people on the internet every day. I don't know. The internet is wild. And just be careful. Uh, that's, that's better for me to say. Be careful. So, let me just get right into this and let me tell you what happened. I'm going to be completely 100% honest with you on what the deal is. I just want to start off by saying that I did not get scammed by a random person on the internet. The person that I got scammed by is someone that I know. Okay, it got real tricky. Yes, you heard that correct. I got scammed by somebody that I know. Someone that we've had mutual friends with. This person has dated one of my childhood friends. They dated for a long time. Um, she was friends with my deceased best friend. She has been in one of my apartments before in the past. So I definitely know this person. It's not just some random person that, you know, that I just trusted on the internet who hit me up and was like, let me turn 50 to 500. It wasn't like that. That was not the situation at all. Um, I know this girl. I, when I started my business, I had a clothing line that I started in 2016. She supported me. Um, she bought plenty of my pieces. When I started Drip Decor, my refurbishing and furniture line, go ahead and follow them on Instagram. She supported me. She has always supported me from every venture that I wanted to do. She has supported me. So I've seen her on Twitter popping it like she has some shit going. And I was like, what's good? Like, you know, it's, you know, it's time for me to reciprocate that energy. Let me support you. You know what I mean? Like, 
you have always supported me. I see you got something going. I know, you know, I'll get to that. Let me not even do all that right now. But that's my point is that I knew this girl. She was not a complete stranger. So let me just make that very clear because I feel like that's really important. And I feel like when you do get scammed on the internet, it's usually from someone that you don't know. Granted, I don't kick it with this girl every day. I don't see her every weekend. Shit, I don't see her every now and then. She invited me to a party. I looked in my DMs. She invited me to her home to go to a party she was throwing around Valentine's Day. Um, she was trying to kick with me, asking me to go to Taco Tuesday. She invited me to go to Raging Waters with her. This girl was trying to be my friend. So, you know, the fact that she scammed me is it's just really weird to me because like bitch you was trying to be my friend like let's just make that real clear i didn't go on my way hitting you up trying to be your friend like you know but i did want to reciprocate that energy if anyone supports me i'm gonna always support them i'm gonna always support black women i'm always going to support black people i'm always going to support other women in general black or not so it's just like <sighs> bitch, I seen you trying to do something, make a little coin. I was like, yes, yeah, sis, let me help your broke ass out. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't, I didn't wasn't gonna call her, bro. She not, I don't know what her finances is like, but shit, she sucked my little money, so maybe, maybe she is broke. But that's not, that wasn't my energy before she scammed me. Like, I was just like, yes, yeah, sis, you trying to make a little coin, like, shit, like, let me help you help yourself. So, Anyways, let me just like make that real clear. So she was on Twitter, big popping it, all these posts saying that she got bottles. <laughs> this is red flag number one. Look, it's it's my mistake too. Like I completely own up to my fault of this, cause like look, that's a red fucking flag. Like she got half off on bottles. Boom. Okay, bitch. Like you couldn't just go to Costco and go buy your own bottles anymore. Why are you? on the internet trying to buy this kind of bottles when you can literally go to food for less and go get you some discounted bottles but you know like i said i was trying to support this bitch so i you know i gave her my coin like i was like okay like she got half off bottles do do woo like I'm seeing her post stuff, I'm seeing other people post stuff, like they bought bottles from her before. So I'm like, okay, cool, like, this is it. Like, she's really the plug, she got something legit going, uh, she got some sort of jig going on, like, look, like, I'm with whatever, I don't care, I'm really with whatever. So if she was, I don't know how she was doing it, or what she was doing, or, I don't know, I don't know. You feel me? I don't know what that bitch has one. But I do know that she has something going and she had 50% off bottles at Bevmo. I will tell you that. So I had hit her like maybe I hit her like maybe two, three weeks in advance. Um my boo. My friend was having a party. Look, hold up. My friend was having a party and it was his birthday so he needed bottles. Um, I had told him for his birthday I would help him get bottles for his party. I was like, hey look, like my homegirl that was already fucked up. That bitch is not my homegirl. Some girl that I know from the past is selling bottles. Um, she got them for half off. She got a little program going. Like people like i said before our mutual friends have bought from her i'm seeing this on twitter like people have bought from her i purchased from her before so i'm thinking her little program is legit um yeah it wasn't but i learned that the hard way <laughs> i learned that the hard way so i hit it like maybe two three weeks before i dm her and i was like i don't know how i'm gonna edit this video i don't know if i'm gonna out this bitch and put her information out there or if I'm going to block her name out. I don't know how I'm feeling. It depends on my mood. I'm a real Aquarius and you know Aquarius can get evil so I'm just going to see what my mood is like when I'm editing this video but if I'm going to put my receipts up in here and block out her picture or whatnot because I really don't know how the fuck I feel right now 
And right now I feel like, fuck her. That was really how I feel. So, oh yeah. So I had her like two, three weeks in advance. So I'm like, hey, like my boo having a party. Like I'm having a party coming up. I see that you sell bottles. Like, are you still selling the bottles? And she was like, hey girl, yeah. Like I still sell them. Like what do you mean? What do you need them by? I was like, so what's really the process? Cause I was like, do I gotta go pick them up from you? Cause she said like maybe like 40 minutes west from me. So like, I'm like, do I gotta meet you to pick them up? Like do you, do you send them to me? Like what's the program? Like, you know, like just let me know what I need to do. She was like, it's real simple. This is important because she switches up later, but she told me at first it's real simple. It's a real simple process. All you do is Zell, first of all, bitch. Like, that was another red flag. She wanted Zell because she wanted that money instantly. She said, you just Zell me the money, and then um, you can go to any Bedmo, or then I'll place your order, and you can go to the Bedmo that I place your order at, and you can just go pick it up. So I was like, okay cool like it's already gonna be paid for um she told me that it was going to be you get half off the bottles plus you have to pay for the tax plus twenty dollars you know just for her doing the gym or whatever so i was like all right cool that's cool so i like tell my little friend my boo whatever whatever i feel like he is that day so i'm a real aquarius y'all but whatever i feel like he was that day i tell him like look like what bottles do you want i know what i want already so he was like i want two clicos two hennessy um and then we need some beer and i was like all right cool because all i drink really is beer anyways i don't drink hennessy and he wanted clicko for himself because we would celebrate him and he wants to drink some champagne so i was like all right cool so i'm like all right cool so that was like two three weeks in advance uh, and i told her i was like i'm gonna hit you up in the next couple weeks uh, when it's closer to the party so that you know we can get it going so fast forward two weeks go by it's the week of the it's not the week of the party it's the week before the party but she thought she thought it was the week of the party because i had told her a week before the actual party was um she hit me up that tuesday or wednesday and she was like hey do you still need the bottles and i was like yeah like i was like that's crazy i was gonna hit you um i'm just waiting so Friday, like, let's do it on Friday because the party is Saturday because my dad ended up having a party on Saturday. So I was like, oh, okay, I can take some beers uh, to my dad's party, period. I got lights on and shit. Hold up. She was like, take a picture of what you want. Like, put it in your car and take a picture so I can place the order. I was like, well, I don't want to do it today. I want to do it on Friday. I was like, I'll hit you up Friday morning. Uh, but how much is it going to be? She was like, it's going to be $140. She told me it's gonna be hundred forty dollars. So I was like, okay, cool. Like, you know, try to do the math. I'm like, okay, the click all usually be like sixty five dollars. So I got two of those. That's one twenty. I'm like trying to do the math. Like, okay, I got a good deal on these bottles. One hundred forty dollars is not bad for all the liquor that we were getting. So um, she ended up. She was like. Press for me to do it on Wednesday, but I was like, I'm not doing it on Wednesday because I was going to do it on Friday. He was going to give me his portion of the money. I was going to put in my portion. We decided to do it Friday. So Friday come, he zelled me his money, and I zelled her our money, $140. I hit her up like 7 in the morning, 7.30 in the morning. I'm like, hey, I just sent you the money. Did you get it? She hit me back like an hour later. She's like, yeah, I got it. She was like, damn, I really wish, really wish you would have done this yesterday so you could have it by 11 today because I had told her I wanted it before too. Like I was saying, she, that was the second red flag. She was like, oh, you should have told me, I really wish you would have told me last night because I wanted it before 2 p.m. And she told me I could have it delivered at any time. That's the second red flag. Um, on Friday, she told me it had to be delivered. Remember, two weeks ago, she told me I can pick it up from any bed load, but on that Friday that I wanted it delivered, I mean, that I wanted to pick up my order, she told me that I had to have it delivered, which was really weird because you specifically told me I can pick it up. 
So I just thought that was really weird. When I asked her, like, why can't I pick it up anymore? She's just like, oh, the pickups are too hot right now. Like, it has to be delivered. My dumbass didn't see nothing wrong with that. I was just like, yeah, whatever. At this point, my nigga was already like, uh, he was already like, sit, I, she on some bullshit. And I was just like, no, she cool, she cool. Like, it's cool. Like, you know what I mean? Like, don't worry about it. I got it. Ooh, ooh. Um, but she wasn't cool. Fuck that hoe. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Not really, but I know what was not really, you know, like. She wasn't cool. So, uh, that was like the second red flag. I don't know if that was the second or the third red flag. It was a bunch of red flags. I can't even keep count at this point. It was so many red flags. I'm like pressed, like, okay, like you need to have it delivered here, um, over here at this time. She's like, I can get it there between three and six. I'm like, all right, whatever, cool. So she keeps telling me it's delivered. They're gonna be calling me. Woo do do woo. I'm like, okay, nobody has called me. So she's like, yeah, it's going to get delivered. Um, just make sure that you're around. So I'm like, hey, like it's like 3.30. I'm like, hey, she's like, yeah, they're on their way. Um, they should be there. She's like, don't go far. They should be there shortly. So I'm like, okay, cool. So then at this point, it's like, five like an hour and a half went by and i was like hey no one still has came like can you check and see where they're at she's like here's the phone number she gave me the phone number to an actual venmo and was like hey she's like hey just call and like see where your order is at like you can have a direct line so i was like all right cool so i called the venmo and i'm like hey like i placed the order like it was supposed to be here between three and six i was wondering where you guys are at and they were like yeah that order got canceled the payment didn't go through and I was like, what the fuck? I'm like, are you sure? They're like, yeah, I got canceled. The payment didn't go through. So I text the girl and I'm like, hey, they said the payment didn't go through. It got canceled. At this point, it's like 545. I'm lolly gagging where I'm at. I need to go. She was like, I text her and I'm like, I don't know what to do. She was like, um, well, I can reorder it at a different store and you can try and pick it up or I'll send you the money back. So at first, originally, I was like, okay, like, go ahead and order it to a different store because I really wanted the bottles. And then I talked to my man and I got in my car and um, I was just like, you know what? I texted him. I was like, hey, if you didn't make that order, like, don't make it. Like, just sell me my money back. We're just going to go to the store and go buy the bottles. And she was like, all right, yeah, that's fine. I'll sell you your money back. Just give me 30 minutes. This is where the bitch got funny. Like, give me 30 minutes. First of all, Zell. Zell is literally an app on your phone. All you have to do is go to the app and click my name and type in the amount that you're going to send me, which would have been $140, and you could have sent me my money back instantly. She was like, yeah, just give me 30 minutes, and I'll send you the money back. And I was like, all right. Like, I'm just like, all right, cool. She said 30 minutes. 30 minutes passed. It's probably like an hour later. I'm like, hey, it's been like an hour. Like, it's been like an hour. Like, can you send me the money back? And she's like, yeah, like, I'm going to send it back, but I'm just not home. Like, I'll send you the money once I get home. I haven't been home. And I'm just like, bitch, you're weird. Like, now, now, like, me and, me and my boo was already, already, like, arguing about it because he was mad that I got a scam. And I was like, still not believing kind of that she was scamming me like I was like why would she scam me like you know like I really wasn't putting two and two together that bitches are fucking desperate and bitches being me basically she was like oh I'm gonna send it once I get home I'm not home I left my other phone at home and that's the phone that Zell is on and she was just talking a bunch of bullshit like you can download Zell on any phone and sign in you know into your banking and use Zell like you know what I'm saying? So a whole day had went by. She, I texted her the next day on Saturday, and I was like, "You never send me the money." She's like, "Yeah, I never went home. Like once I get home, I'll send you the money." I didn't talk to her no more besides that Saturday morning. I didn't hit her up none Sunday. That bitch didn't hit me none Sunday. Um, and 
I finally got a response from her on Monday because I reached out to her and I got a response and she basically told me that she never went home um, to get her phone and that she was pissed she was like going off on me she was going off on me and I'm crazy as fuck let, let me say that again like I'm crazy as fuck and I know I'm crazy as fuck you know what I mean so it's like this bitch doing all this and I'm not a bitch to do all this I'm not gonna go back and forth with you you can call me all types of names and go off and go off and go off and I'm gonna let you go off and I'm gonna go <laughs> back with you because that shit's probably funny to me but when shit goes off like I'm gonna make some shit pop off period like I'm an Aquarius I'm trying to tell y'all that she's like we we be 10 steps ahead like but she was doing all this mad 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 like bitch i told y'all i was gonna give me your money back bitch you ain't give me my money back so where's that you it's monday it's fucking monday now bitch like you didn't go home all week and you talking about she needs it like everybody know how zell works so long story short i sent her a text i was like i know you in need you need the money more than i do i hope i was able to bless you i hope you go through whatever you're going through because you thirsty like you obviously need some money more than I did. Like, I bless you, bitch. So, be blessed. That's really what I told her. And she was hot, and she started popping in. She didn't pop in me. And pop in me. And pop in me. Basically, she was mad. She started calling me and big popping in. I'm like, now all of a sudden you can hit me, bitch. Uh, it's cool. And she was trying to negotiate with me to do something for her so that she'll send the money. I would not negotiate with her. And she never sent me the money. I got scammed for $140 by a bust down broke bitch um, who be scamming people for fun. Like, bitch, that's so weird. But you're thirsty and you need it and I don't. So I'm glad that I was able to help you. Uh, me and my boo were able to get bottles anyways we got bottles for the function we got the fucking champagne the Hennessy the beer so it went up anyway regardless and it was just a lesson learned like I don't need to be a cheap bitch <laughs> I pride myself for being so cheap and it was like you don't got to be so cheap for everything. It's the right way to be cheap. You can be a bargain hunter, but you don't got to be fucking with fucking boosters and fucking weird bitches to get something discounted. That was the life lesson that I learned. So if you learned anything from this story time today, go ahead and like this video. Drop a comment. And tell me about the time that you got scammed. I want to hear about it. Let's get a conversation going. Because I know I'm not the only one in this world who has gotten scammed before. There are plenty of scam artists. People are scamming every day on the internet. And you just got to be careful for the snakes. It can be someone you know. Be aware. If it sounds too good to be true, it is too good to be true. Let's just make that clear. If it sounds too good to be true, it's too good to be true. And that's that. But go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, guys. Thank you for watching. And remember, karma comes full circle. What's done in the dark will always come to light. And you can't do wrong by good people. Because it will come back and bite you in the ass. Bye.